What's good, everyone? It's your homie Hermit. We're back with another reaction. This time we got something I'm very, very excited to get to. Uh, Fear of the Dark. We have the official video lined up, and then immediately after, bam, Rock and Rio version. We're going to do a, do a double reaction for you guys. And then I have a special video lined up after that. So that's, that's, if you, if you've been around, you've seen a couple of videos, you've heard, especially recently towards the end of this album, you've heard me mention what that project is. I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's hop into this song. I can't wait to hear what it's like. Fear of the dark. Touching for the ride. 
Yeah, I like that. I think it was our. Uh, I think it was a really good decision for you guys to uh, uh, tell me to check that out first, instead of just doing the studio version. Uh, and obviously, anytime we get to watch them perform like an actual recording of them performing live, I'll jump all over it. So I can't wait to see it. I loved how the crowd got into it. I, I absolutely loved seeing that. The, the crowd interaction, the, just the fan service, I guess would be another way to call it. And they fucking killed it, dude. The guitar solo on that, the guitar solos on that song were fucking incredible. I think, um, definitely worth the wait a little less than it was hyped up to be i think but maybe maybe this version will uh set that opinion straight a light in the black or oh, just a fear of the dark <laughs>
Killed it. When I'm walking a dark road, I am the man who walks I really liked that one, dude. I I think you guys were totally right to tell me to check that one out because like I don't see how anyone like even if you've never heard of Iron Maiden before, I don't see how you could listen to this and not be an automatic fan. Like you can't watch this performance and dislike this band. I I think it's impossible. Um dude, I I really really think uh that this because of the experience of instead of hearing it studio and then live i think it might be my favorite on the album but the album uh, the album was just like it was a surprise i'm not gonna lie i wasn't expecting it to be that good especially after the last one but damn it was it nice um i'm people have been asking me if I'm nervous and if I'm a little concerned about, uh, about checking out the, uh, the blaze Bailey stuff. I wouldn't say I'm like nervous or anything like that. I'm just curious. I might be a little concerned. <laughs> uh, and a, a, a quick by the by, if you guys see them in the chat, our homie metal Mark, his birthday today so tell him happy birthday uh other than that though let me know what you guys think about this one i i really i, I gotta say i really enjoyed it let's bring up because this is like a, a tradition we got to bring up the entire uh album track list all right we got Iron Maiden, Fear the Dark, which has, hold on, I'm, I know I'm, this is taking forever, but it is what it is. All right, we have Quicker Be Dead, great song. From Here to Eternity, that one was all right. Afraid to Shoot Strangers was really good. Fear uh, Fear's the Key, I, I liked what that one was about. Childhood's End was good. For me, it's got to be Chains of Misery, Fear of the Dark, or uh, maybe Childhood's End, I think is the one. This, uh, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to have to say my favorite one on this album probably be chains of misery i i just fucking absolutely loved that song fear of the dark was a great live reaction or a live uh song to react to though um i can definitely see why it's really beloved by the fan base uh let me know what you guys think about this song personally uh big shout out to everybody who's been listening to iron maiden with us uh it's crazy to think i started uh my first iron maiden reaction was power slave and since then we've just ran through the first uh 
uh, the first Iron Maiden, uh, I, f I forgot what I was saying. So, oh, Power Slave was the first Iron Maiden song we did a reaction to. And it's crazy to think of all the different Iron Maiden songs that we've checked out since then. You know, that's uh, quick. I've, uh, there must be something going on, everyone, like your homie hermit? weather wise or something, because epilepsy wise, my fucking brain is shot past two days uh but power slave february 19th was when we started doing maiden reactions since february 19th damn near oh it, almost the anniversary of it uh but since then iron maidens become my favorite band adrian smith is well on his way to become my favorite guitarist uh bruce dickinson easily in my top five favorite vocalists so yeah dude we uh steve harris easily easily my favorite bassist now 100 percent easily my favorite bassist and it's crazy to think just a few months ago i didn't listen to any of this it's it's crazy it's wild thank you guys for opening my eyes and guiding me through um I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day. Big shout out to the Patreon supporters, the live stream viewers, the TikTok viewers, everybody checking us out over on Instagram. Uh, we'll catch you at the next one. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Again, Mark, happy birthday. Uh, we'll catch you at the next one. Peace.